We're just eight days away now from the FDA advisory meeting that could grant Pfizer's vaccine an emergency use authorization. Today, one of the key players in that decision hosted an online question and answer session. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a closer look at the key issues he covered. Frank? Dr. Arnold Monto from the University of Michigan School of Public Health is the chair of the all-important FDA Vaccine Advisory Committee. Today, he sought to reassure people that the speed in Operation Warp Speed has come from advances in science and the infusion of money, not shortcuts in safety. Money talks and the, there have been a lot of investments put on into vaccine development, which has resulted in large numbers of people being involved. Those large studies have given the FDA a lot of data on the vaccines. Manufacturing millions of doses before the studies were complete also dramatically shortened the typical time frame. Well, this is one of the major success stories of the response to the pandemic. Monta was very encouraged. The vaccines appear to be far more effective than the FDA's original goal. Having this at, at oh, greater than 90%, at least from the preliminary reports really changes everything and it should change people's attitudes. We can stop the pandemic through use of the current vaccines and through unfortunately the herd immunity that's building up because of bad behavior. But he said some key groups will require more study. We do not expect very quick approval for children based on the results in adults bridging studies, so-called, but there may need to be further studies in children. The key question, will he get a vaccine if it's authorized? I will get it, but since I've been happily living, not going outside, I want to be sure that those people who are more at risk get it first. Now, Monto stressed the only safety difference from what is traditionally done is that we have a shorter follow-up period because of the emergency situation that the pandemic has created. Now, while most adverse reactions would be expected to occur in that time period, researchers will continue to monitor people who receive the vaccine for any future safety concerns. Back to you.